Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Join me as we uncover unique energy solutions across Canada. Every week, we'll bring you the stories of people in businesses and communities who are changing the way we power this country. Demand for green, more sustainable forms of energy has experienced double-digit growth rates for several decades. This wasn't lost on the city of Medicine Hat, Alberta. David, how are you doing, David? Good to see you again. Nice ride. And so we felt like we needed to give back in some way. We were making this money off of a non-renewable resource, and we thought it may only last 25, 50 years, and what are we going to do for the future? And so they hired a manager of sustainability, gave him money, and asked him to bring back the best green energy programs he could find. So we did some of the more interesting things. We allowed uh, the residents, we would go 50-50 with them on solar panels on their roofs. So if they spent $10,000 putting a solar system on their ceiling, on the roof of their house, we'd give them a $5,000 back. Now, one of the best bangs for your buck is insulation. But insulation is boring. Uh, it doesn't, uh, it's not sexy. The HatSmart energy conservation rebates were very popular among residents who could get $100 for an eco-home audit, $400 for an efficient furnace, $300 for insulation, and $75 for an energy-efficient front-load clothes washer. Solar photovoltaic panels create DC or direct current electricity. This is then inverted into AC or alternating current electricity and fed into the electricity grid through the meter. Dr. Keith King, a local orthodontist, was very interested in investing in renewable energy. So when the HatSmart program launched, he lined up two partners and worked with the City of Medicine Hat to put a highly visible 30 kilowatt solar electric system on his office building. Well, there are 180 panels and each panel produces 165 watts. So uh, if you tally that up, it's roughly 30 kilowatts of power. It's basically enough to, we have an 18,000 square foot building, it's basically enough to power half of our power needs. Dabbling in solar energy doesn't sound like the typical thing for a dentist to do, so I asked Dr. King whatever possessed him to install, at the time, one of the largest solar electric systems in Western Canada. Part of my mindset was, if we don't invest some money into this, when we have the opportunity, when things are improving, who's going to do it? Like, who's going to take the leadership role? Somebody's got to do it. Anything that isn't invested in doesn't progress. And so, probably my main motivation was to support something that I believe in and so that it can advance and that hopefully there will be a time when it's as economical or does better than conventional fuels. And so Gas City was doing its part to lead the way to alternative energy. As soon as news broke about Dr. King's solar system, City Hall started getting calls from other dentists in Medicine Hat. Donald Cranston's a home builder in Medicine Hat. He jumped at the chance to build his own energy smart home so he and the Red Rock Developments team could learn how to build greener homes in Medicine Hat. Whether it's an entry level home, we can do things with our windows, with our insulation, with our, with our, our roof envelope uh, that are not really that cost prohibitive. In fact, there's very little change in the construction cost. If a customer wants to be more aggressive on energy savings, we can go to triple pane windows and we can go to insulated um, ICF block foundations and we can go to other more elaborate construction designs. Speaking of elaborate designs, Donald Cranston used solar and geothermal heating to help his home reach an amazing Energide rating of 89, earning him more than $20,000 in rebates. His geothermal system uses heat from the earth to heat his house in the wintertime, and perfect for Medicine Hat's hot summers, his system also works in reverse, putting heat back into the ground, making his home nice and cool on those hot summer days. As builders elevate the construction standards with their trades and as the trades also learn new techniques and as new building materials come out, the common home will just on its own have a higher inner guide rating. It just feels good to build a better home. It is this level of innovation and the high levels of buy-in by residents that has earned Medicine Hat a national award from the Federation of Canadian Municipalities for this remarkable green energy program. Energy conservation and renewable energy are hot topics in Medicine Hat and many other towns and cities in Canada these days. Join the conversation at greenenergyfutures.ca. There you'll find our blog, links, resources, podcasts and past episodes. I'm David Dodge.